arranging a mortgage. When you are looking to buy a property, you may well need to do so using a mortgage. Whatever your position, whether you are a first-time buyer, looking to move to a new house, or simply searching out a fresh deal against an existing mortgage, the process can be complicated and tricky. There will be a lot to consider, weigh up and factor in. A mortgage is basically a loan, provided by a mortgage lender to help you buy a property. The lender will have security over your property, which means if things go wrong, for example, you don't meet the monthly payments required, the lender can take the property back and sell it to pay off the loan. In most cases, lenders will not lend you 100% of the property's value. You will need to put down a deposit and the lender will lend the rest. The minimum deposit lenders require varies from situation to situation. 5% is the normal minimum, but it could be higher in many cases. A common mortgage term is 25 years. Again, this can vary and may be longer or shorter than this. Once you have a mortgage in place, you will then pay back the capital over the term you have agreed, with payments being made monthly. This is known as a capital repayment mortgage. There are alternatives which are known as interest-only mortgages, this is where you do not pay the loan back each month to the lender, but become responsible for the full payment at the end of the term. In this case, you will need to ensure you have enough money in savings, for example, within ISAs or pensions, to pay off the mortgage. You may not have a choice in today's marketplace, as you may be required to have a capital repayment mortgage as part of any mortgage offer. Whichever method you use to repay the capital, You'll also pay interest on the amount borrowed each month, either at a fixed or variable rate of interest, depending on which type of deal you choose. A fixed rate of interest keeps the interest locked at a figure for a set period. A variable rate means the interest rate will move in line with general fluctuations in interest rate levels. You will note already from these basic points that there are a lot of different factors to weigh up. Once you have determined how much deposit is required and how much you can afford, you will need to look closely at other costs and charges associated with the mortgage. These can include upfront costs and early payment charges should you pay off the mortgage earlier than the full term. You will almost certainly need to arrange life assurance to make sure the mortgage is paid off in full should you die before the mortgage is cleared. And many lenders will also look to make sure you have a will in place to clarify the legal position. You may need to look at other insurances, such as protecting your income against ill health or even a redundancy. You will need house insurance, which should include covering the building and the contents. Within the basics and the added factors we have described so far, we have not mentioned other possible alternatives to deals that you might explore. Options such as offset mortgages and tracker mortgages. Sometimes you can get interest rate discounts for short periods, for example, a year. There are also government-backed schemes such as shared ownership and help to buy. These may be suitable for your circumstances. Plus, you may well be in the position that you have many lenders prepared to offer you a mortgage and the comparison of their deals available could involve complex calculations because the cheapest deal measured by the interest rate may not be the cheapest overall deal for you in the long term. The mortgage market is sometimes described as a maze, and you will see from the information outlined that there is a great deal to investigate and work through. The key factor, whatever your current position, is to take a great deal of care and to use expert help. The extent of the financial commitment and the legal position with any mortgage is considerable. In summary, it makes perfect sense to explore all your options. Look at any deal, making sure you consider all the costs, not just the headline interest rate, and that you fully review the terms and conditions. Taking advice from a specialist in these areas can be worth its weight in gold. We are here to help you and have the expertise to advise you around every aspect of your mortgage requirement.